So we have three rooftop gardens at Trent University. Um, there's one that's uh, three inches of soil, which is just over there. It's just grass. No one really notices because it's kind of ground level looking, but it is a rooftop. And then there's a six inch uh, rooftop garden over there that has um, just little specimens of different varieties of, uh, of grasses and things. And then this one is the one that we produce, which is 12 inches with a membrane underneath it. So it drains and irrigates properly. So one of our professors who's now retired, but still teaching is Tom Hutchison. And he um, started doing um, a project that was looking at ozone and um, its effects on crops. And he was using several varieties of beans. So that was a big project that really um, broke, was groundbreaking, pun intended. and. Uh, he started doing that up here. And then once he started doing that, uh, it just started rolling that we started producing food. Uh, rooftop gardens are, are definitely, they, they hold in a lot more heat and they insulate a lot better. So, I mean, it keeps um, any building colder in the summer and warmer in the winter. Uh, Trent's one of the first rooftop gardens um, in Canada that I know of, in universities definitely. And uh, they've been, this has been here since I think it was about the 80s. Yeah. And so there's lots of other benefits too. I mean, you get to, you know, you don't have to import any food from California or less food because you get an extra six weeks in the season roughly because of that heat that it retains. So when it's frosting over here and all around, like we all know in, in the fall, it happens and kills all of our food so we can't perpetually grow food. Up here, you have an extra six weeks. And uh, if you had a greenhouse up here, you have an even more chance of doing a perpetual harvest year round. Students in, in, in the introduction to environmental science, um, they get to actually come and either do the water festival, that is a big initiative that Trent's been operating and working with, or they can come here to the rooftop garden and spend 10 hours and, and work and actually learn what it is that the food that they're eating at the Season Spoon is coming from and why it's important for the environment. Um, in the first year, I am a first year student and in first year I, I did this and this is how I got involved. Um, and I learned a lot about, you know, the different elements of why rooftop gardens are important. And